Uh, yeah, the OG slogan. Eat most, sleep, repeat. Yeah. I mean, it was cool. It was a little bit of a tongue twister. I like the OG. What's the new one? Uh, no, your, the, yeah, yeah healing your lawn is slow. Yeah, healing your lawn is slow. Y'all see those stickers? All right, so I don't have anyone in here yet, but uh, I'm gonna go and show y'all this um, sunflower. One of the two that I haven't harvested yet, right here. I don't know if y'all remember when I planted. Well, I didn't I didn't record it. I planted these mammoth sunflowers. Hi Shirley Shirley. Um ah, there's one right there, right? And this one up here, the seeds are forming, but they're not hard yet. They're not hard yet. And I'm just here to show you what it looks like when it hardens off. And I'm showing you the state of my garden. I just got back home. I am back at Turf Therapy HQ. Um, I got a lot of work to do as far as the fall prepping. I did a lot of work before I left. So we're not in horrible shape um, at all. We're right on time for a lot of things. One of those things being this right here. That's it, guys. So the one that got like 12 feet. Hey, Brenda. The one that got like 12 feet. Hey, Sylvan Ray. Um, I'm pretty sure I said that wrong long mow that long that that long shaggy oh it's getting done look at this why are you talking about my lawn we doing it all right now okay look the lawn looks good just in case you didn't think it did and you thought i was doing a uh, trickery on youtube it looks beautiful and all of that right there is from this the thatcher that i'm running so i got my nephew over there along with my brother-in-law and we are knocking out uh, this as well. They're going to help me record it. So right now I'm dethatching it. I'll be mowing it. I'll be taking it down and then uh, I'm aerating on Sunday and the seed is going down on Sunday. And this is uh, still looking thick. I know, right? She's still looking good, but we're going to get some granite in there. Just like I said, this is the stock from the biggest one I had. It was 12 feet, y'all. 12 feet sunflower. I showed it to you in the video. Um, there's still another one over there. I'm pulling up a lot of my corn. Um, I'm leaving these three on there because they're not completely ready yet. The silt's not all the way browned out, but they taste delicious. Uh, one of my tomato plants, I'll just show you this real quick. These are um, beef steaks, beef steak heirloom tomatoes. And then these are my other sunflowers that are over here. And there's a, another one that's almost ready. So. If you want to grill your sunflower heads, you can do that and that's the perfect time to take them. You take them when the seeds are soft, when they haven't hardened up like this. So when you see this, it looks ugly, right? It looks like it's dead, diseased or something. It looks like you don't want any parts of it. But when you brush this, ooh, look, they falling off. When you brush that stuff, there's your seed. That's your seed that you're used to eating organically grown and i just brush this stuff off and look at that look at all these seeds they're just popping out so i'm not going to do them all right now but that is what that looks like all of these right here each little single one of these is a seed yep and if you're wondering if you can eat them well yes you can you can eat them raw, just like most of the things I eat out of my garden. Plenty raw. You see the, you see the furt stacked up. I got furt seed all over the place. But just in case y'all thought I wasn't telling the truth, boom, seeds in there. And I actually prefer them raw. First one I had, it kind of threw me off. It kind of threw me off because I was so used to having some flowers not like this, covered in salt and a whole bunch of other stuff. But I'm gonna roast them on the grill. Tomorrow I'm gonna roast these two heads on the grill tomorrow. 
and um, we're gonna have some fresh sunflower seeds. Now the other two that are left up there, those and save one head for seeds. Where you get your sunflower seeds from? Um, I bought my sunflower seeds from I want to say it was Baker Creek RareSeeds.com. Um, I'm still doing that giveaway, guys. I'm just waiting to hear back from the company to give me the specifics on one of the things they're giving away. So as soon as they give me the specifics on that, then I'll throw that video up so you guys can get answered to the 2K giveaway. By the time I do it, I might have 3K, right? Um, but uh, I can show y'all around. I can show you around back. My wife, she did a really good job while I was out of town. She was all concerned and nervous, thinking that she didn't do a good job because there were certain things that was coming to the end of their life cycles that she didn't realize it was coming to the end of the life cycles. So the kooka melons are gone. The kooka melons that were over there, they're all gone. I pulled the trellis out. Matter of fact, that's the pile of them right there, along with the sunflower that I pulled out. Um, I got my last round of sweet peppers on here, and look at that. It was buffering where? It was buffering where, sorry. Am I still buffing? So this is uh, my sweet green peppers. That this one's turning orange. These are ripening as well. Got plenty back there. I think I got another one. There's another one, smaller one. There's another one over here. It's a nice healthy size. No, I'm not buffering. Oh, okay. Hey, Lady Led, thanks for popping in. Appreciate it. Um, so yeah, that's another one. And these are ripening. Now, I'm gonna tell you, don't laugh at me. I never knew until I saw Led show in his jalapeno popper video. This is a jalapeno, y'all. And then come find out if you leave your jalapeno on the plant long enough, it goes, it turns red. It ripens into a red color. I never knew that. Um, laugh at me if you want to, but you know, I'm learning these things and my habaneros, man, these habaneros have been jumping off. I got a whole nother row of habaneros up here as well. Uh, so I'm gonna prep this for mostly root vegetables and brassicas. Matter of fact, y'all want to see my starts? I'll show you my starts real quick. What's up, Marcus? What's going on? Not much. Oh, got a, yeah, it's working just fine. Uh, these are my carrots. Those are my black nebula carrots. I showed you those before I left and look at them. They're like six times bigger. Um, finding out those little surprises that we didn't even know before, right? I got a whole new set of uh, basil going in, going on right now. Let me see if I can get this light on and show y'all my little seed starting operation. I don't know if I've seen, showed y'all my light set up in here but this is my light setup with my starts i have uh i got more heading columns back there got yellow heart choy tetsoy um parsley's coming up all of that in that corner right there that's spinach i got these really cool um like, like tom thumb uh i can't remember what they're called orange hat orange hat tomatoes they are not supposed to get any bigger than what you see them right now in these containers. And then there's a, what is that? A blue kale back there that's ready to be transplanted. All I see is a buffering sunflower photo. Thanks, Grace. I'm not sure what's going on now. Those of you who were asking for cuttings of my mint, my chocolate mint, now they were ready, but the wife had an accident. She knocked them over, not these, but the other batch. But look at that, we got some roots. I got a video coming out on that soon. Miss Crafts in the building. I was waiting for you to get here. Now, if you're not aware, I got some rosemary starting here. And then there's another kind of mint that I stole from my brother. Lettuce, kale. What is that? Calabose cabbage, dill, uh, Brussels. Got more Brussels starts and uh, some that, that uh, broccoli cabbage, the cabbage. This, the broccoli that's named like a broccoli, but it's actually a cabbage and it's got a yellow head. So those are my fall starts that will be moving outside here in the very near future that I started up. And then I picked up some new, some, um, some new seeds as well. But Miss Craft, Miss Craft in the building, tomorrow's video, guys, will not be a traditional video. It is going to be a live session with us starting our winemaking series. It's going to be at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, that's when we're going live, and we're gonna walk you through 
the, the getting set, the let's talk wine 101. She's gonna tell you about the process of making the wine. I know, right? Congrats, yeah, throw the horns up. Um, she's gonna show you the process. Let me show you this. It's my comfrey. That's my Meyer lemon. That's my okra that started stressing because um, the weather was just terrible, but she's bouncing right back. I'll leave her since she's bouncing right back. And then that's the other sunflower, mammoth sunflower head that I'll be taking in about a week or so. You can still tell it's not ready because there's a lot of white in there. There's still a lot of white in there. The seeds are still soft. They haven't really formed. So if you wanted to grill this and eat it just like that, you can do that. I've seen people do it, um, but that's the stage you'll want to take it at. So back to the wine thing. Uh, myself and Miss Kraft will be going live tomorrow via Zoom, but straight to YouTube. Man, that grass looks good. <laughs> and I haven't even done my renovations yet. Oh my goodness, it's going to look crazy when I do the renovations. <laughs> um, but we're doing that tomorrow, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Set your alarm, set your clock, because we're making some daggone wine. And if you want to be interested in making your own wine and figuring out how to do that, you're definitely going to want to tune in. So now the backyard is what looks the worst when it comes to the garden. These are the pole beans. They're past their life cycle. They're almost done with their life cycle. So they're still pumping off some pods but I'm gonna leave these on here to save them as seeds the strawberry patch well is definitely a patch right now the cabbage that I started before I left it looked like I had some looper cabbage worm activity getting to them I'm gonna leave them I'm not gonna pull them up I'm not gonna get too crazy I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull this out because this is not food right yeah she did a great job taking care of the lawn didn't she she was all worried and she worried herself to death. Now, I lost a lot of beets. A lot of beets got just wrecked. Look, they ate the whole head down. How are the worms doing? They're doing great, man. Brewing 24-7. And she kept them fed while I was gone. We got some, uh, hey, Clausen. We got some sugar snap peas coming in off this little trellis. I'm going to be planting some more seeds in there. The stuff that you see with the pink purple flowers, that's my rose mint. I'm gonna start propagating that soon too because some a few people asked for rose mint at the beginning of the season and um, I'll propagate and show you how to do it and I'll send it out. Can I have a wine checklist so I can be ready to participate? So that's what the first video is about. Yuck on the worm, she's brave. So this video, who was that? Um, Shirley. So the video that we're doing tomorrow, we will be live. You'll be able to ask Miss Kraft after she gets done speaking. Well, before we start, you'll have like a 10 minute Q&A session. You can throw some quick questions out there. Then we'll get going once the chat gets a nice amount of people in it, like right now. And then when she gets done talking about she's using that Super Saiyan magic, she sure did. <laughs> then when we get done talking about the process the tools you're going to need she's put together an amazon list for you where you don't have to use that amazon list but if you can you can use that list to see if you got whatever you need or if you can get it locally or if you want to choose a different source that's cheaper or something it's all on you you can get it done that way um, so that's the point in that so just tune in tomorrow or catch the replay after we're done it's really up to you but if you come to the live you can ask miss craft herself whatever questions you have so this is my kohlrabi that's doing well. Now, the leaves look tattered, but I don't care about that. I want this beautiful root. You see that? It's beautiful root. So we got three in there. They destroyed my seedlings. I'm going to get some more going because I think kohlrabi takes about 45 to 60 days to mature. So if that's the case, and I think they're okay with frost i think they're frost tolerant so if that's the case i could still get another round of karabi in before we are completely done with the season and then my collards uh one of them these are georgia georgia collards right here one of them taking a pretty bad beating um but you know what there's a huge praying mantis around here and i don't really want to take this stuff down i want to kind of leave it because he he's gotten so big i think he's hiding right now because it's a little warm he's gotten so big and he's just made this his home i really don't want to disturb it 
Uh, these are radishes that my wife, she dropped some seeds, some radishes, and that's the backyard. That's what it's looking like. It needs to be edged, but uh, she did good for my, for my garden. Uh, brassicas, root vegetables. She did another harvest of potatoes. This harvest was way better than the other one. And we're just letting them cure out a little bit before we uh, bring them inside to eat them. So that's how we did. That's way better harvest than my first one. I think my first one, I only got maybe this many tomato uh, potatoes. And then now we easily have double. So yeah, I'm home now. Yes, in Miss MB, I'm back home. I'm doing fall cleanup for the lawn, for the garden. I'm doing it all. Grows best in cool temps. It does, but see, Clausen, I had my little eco, my little microclimate over here where it was partially shaded and I was able to grow collards and kohlrabi year round. You just saw it. That's proof. I did it. I did it. So if they tell you you can't do it, they're lying to you. Don't believe them. <laughs> I did it. So everything's looking really good. I got a whole bunch of volunteer plants that I put on the perimeter of this. I just have to finish cleaning this stuff up. Let's see. It looks good. Everything's still in bloom other than the sad looking sunflower that my wife thought she killed. But it's just going through its life cycle. You know, it's about to give us some seeds. That's what her job is to reseed herself or feed me. And this time it's going to be feed me. She's not reseeding herself here. But all of the zinnias and the dahlias are waking back up after all of that heat. And I remembered the people who said they wanted dahlias and you'll be getting them, no worries. Got these right here. I, I cut the prettiest one off and gave it to my mother-in-law this morning. So yeah, dahlias are here. So I just have to tighten this all up, right? I'm not getting as much sun in the back as I was anymore because the sun's pattern has shifted. So I'll have to move a lot of stuff around here which is why I've cleared out this space so much. It's because I'm prepping to bring a lot of the stuff that's in the back up front. That's it. So we were successful with corn in this container. I'm not going to be able to show you videos for all this stuff because I was, I was simply, I was out of town, but I'm showing you now. I'm showing you my garden looking wrecked, unkept kind of sorta, but things are still doing what they're supposed to be doing. And those dahlias, yeah, I know you want some dahlias. You, um, Lady Cheryl, pretty sure Aunt Linda said she wanted some. I'll just go back to that video that I offered them. And um, I'm gonna look to see who are the people that said yes. And then those are the only people that's getting it. Hey, C CG, how you doing? Miss MB, I'm pretty sure, yep, it was you as well. I have dahlias up front as well. My Liriope, Lily Turf. Um, those are blooming, wrecked, impossible. The garden looks great. <laughs> yeah, it looks great. She was all worried though, you know, cause one of a few things died. Don't y'all like these purple blooms? These are nice. So yeah, that's my lily turf, liriope, whatever you want to call it. You missed the dahlias? No. <laughs> so that's another dahlia right there that is going to start blooming again. And that one is as well. That's my chocolate mint down there. Um, that is a curly kale that made it through the entire season. And right here, I haven't determined which root, 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 uh, root vegetable I'm doing yet, but I, I, I don't know. Uh, I, I'll figure it out. Now, one thing that's going to make y'all sad is, look at this. I got more butternut squash coming in, right? But butternut squash takes about 100 in 10 days to mature. And I know that this plant does not like frost at all. So I'm actually really, I'm gonna I'm ship it out there for any other growers that might've ever grown in my season before. Am I wasting my time trying to allow these to mature? Or should I just go ahead and cut cord on them? Should I just let these mature? Cause I got about four more that's coming in off this plant. And I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about just going ahead and pulling it up and reusing this space for something else because we still don't, we don't, I don't think we have enough time for them to mature properly, but I could be wrong. If someone's experienced that before in the past, please drop it in the comments below if you're rewatching it or if you're live right now, just drop it in the chat. That would be um, helpful for me because I'm kind of in between 
on it right now. I don't know for a fact if I'm going to do it. So, much like Lady Led was saying today, guys, uh, sometimes you just got to work with the nature. Um, sometimes things don't go the way that you plan them to go, and you just drop more seeds. As you can see, I was prepped before I left. I had plenty of seedlings started up, ready to go. And when I came back, I didn't skip a beat. You know, I just started pulling stuff up that was done or it's past its life cycle. The things that looks like they might give me a little juice left in the squeeze, I left them where they were. But I thought the coolest thing was these daggone sunflowers. Like, cause when I saw it, I was, I was worried. I was like, oh no, I missed my window. They're no longer there, but look at that. Full with seeds. So off of one seed, we have hundreds of seeds again. And like Lady Cheryl says, saving seeds is like printing money. Print that money. The weather is iffy. You have to take a chance. I might take a chance because you know what? I, it's not like I'm losing a lot of space. Hey, Love Notes, I saw your, your traveling man, saw the sticker. I'll talk later, my friend. Yeah, Lewis Hayden, Lodge number, Lodge number seven, Lewis Hayden. I was raised in a uh, 10. Six. I'm trying to get everything out of the plants that I can. Right? Yep. Got a lot of sunflowers, and I I think these seeds taste better raw. I'm just I'm just saying. That's just me. Don't shoot the messenger. But I think they taste better raw. So when your sunflower is looking like this, like you want to throw it away. Look how big that is. That's way. That's like three times bigger than my head. You see that? That's crazy. <laughs> and it didn't even, when it bloomed, it wasn't this big. It just got bigger. That diameter, I got some calibers back there. I, don't, I ain't trying to keep y'all too long. I just wanted to pop in and show you this and let you know that we are seeing the wine series tomorrow. Wine series tomorrow. Yeah. Wine series tomorrow. It's going down. I'm trying to get everything out. Be mindful. What's that? Be mindful of the worms. What worms? My worms? My worms? Lead farmers in there? I see Lady Lead. I didn't know Lead was in here. What's going on, Lead? You can drill those sunflower heads. Drill those sunflower heads? What do you mean? Drill them. Drill them and hang them? Is that what you mean? And let them keep drying? I don't need to let them keep drying. They dried out. Wine series is going down. Yes. Yes. And Miss Craft and I, we were talking today. No sunflower seeds get worms. Oh. They'll get worms inside of them? Is that what you're saying? I didn't know that. Haven't found a worm yet. I didn't know that. What kind of worms? See, we're learning stuff every day in this gardening community. For all care people, I'll be going live on Monday. She probably meant grill. Oh, grill. Yeah, 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 yeah. Grill them. Yeah, I'm a, um, I'm a, um, so that, that, like I told you, the ones that aren't ready. All right. So the best way to do that what Love Notes is talking about is the sunflower seeds that I show you that weren't all the way ready. That's before the seed hardened and ripened. What you do is you take that, you take that head and you can grill the whole head. I would do it, but I want the seeds. So I'm 